What's up, y'all? It is your girl, your cousin, your niece, your sister, your auntie, your BFF, your sister, and your mama. L's of you all. Girl, it's been a long, I don't even know what I'm looking like. It's been a long time since I picked up this camera. It's been a long time since I talked to y'all. I got so much to say, but I don't know. So today is Saturday. It is November, damn, November 20th. I've had so much drama in my life the past month, and it's not like, it's just life drama. So, I'm out of that. Um, my lease is up on this vehicle on Monday. I literally just took care of everything yesterday. So, um, there are no new vehicles on the lot that are what, I, what I'm looking for, and I have to stay with my brand because I'm over my mileage, or I was over my mileage. So, they're like, it's better for you to just buy out the vehicle but finance it. Your payments are going to be lower. You don't have to worry about mileage, which I knew that. And then, um, because the pre-owned vehicles that are like mine on the lot had more mileage than mine, not as many features, and it would have cost me more. I'm like, I'm good. Like, I really, really love the features of the vehicle. Um, I just need to get it detailed. Like, I love this panoramic roof. None of them had that. I like a lot of the little bells and whistles that a lot of those did not have, so... Um, my goal is to maybe keep it for another year or so. Once the economy gets itself back together or these dealerships get some more vehicles in, you know, I'm not really worried about it because at this point, um, there are no limitations on it. So that is a blessing. I have been through the ringer financially. So I'm just looking for some relief, y'all. And, um, you know, God comes in right on time all the time. So, I didn't get to vlog. Mary Kay and CJ were just down here. We just came back from the supermarket. They're headed back home. Um, they came down to help me with some stuff. Um, so, I didn't get to vlog when we were in the store. CJ went to the bathroom multiple times. The first time we went in there, came out without a jacket. I'm like, where's your jacket? He took my hand, had no jacket on. So, he had to go back in there. I don't know where he put it in the bathroom. That disturbed me. <laughs> So when we got in there, he had to go to the bathroom. When we were leaving, he had to go to the bathroom. So, got to, um, they came to the dealership, he had to go to the bathroom. I'm like, boy. And I don't think he'd really be having to go. He'd just be nervous to be on the road. But, um, he was so sweet, y'all. I wanted to, um, oh, God, please don't let me cry. Um, we had taken him somewhere. And my heart broke a little bit piece by piece because CJ can read he's cognitive of a lot of things um, he was signing his name and he did it fine the first time I'm like your name so I gotta kind of your name Charlie you know tell me the name and then he's like I forgot how to do these things okay so and like I said his hand was shaking and for him to say that I know I just know I'm like it's so sad but I don't want to bring this down I don't I didn't want to come on here and do this so I'm not going to I'm just um y'all pray for your girl life is throwing some punches at me but I am still standing I refuse to lay down I'm gonna come out better in the end I always do um hope everybody will have a very blessed fantastic Thanksgiving this year I'm looking forward to it being a lot different than last year I'm not still going all out still I'm still knowing COVID is very real um, mostly everybody that's coming to our Thanksgiving they're all vaccinated um, you know and it's just gonna be quick it's gonna be early because my niece and them they all like house hop we'll be the first ones I'm just gonna hang out with my parents pretty much all day I haven't done that in a while um, I've been doing a lot of training at work. I've been exhausted by that. It's like they're piling all this information on you and all these different laws and things you ought to learn. And I'm like, where is the raise? So, it's just making me work even harder to be independent and debt-free and my own boss. Like, I'm not built for this. I told you I'm not built for 9 to 5. I ain't built for a 9 to 9. No, ma'am. No, sir. I sat outside of my job um, when I was getting ready to go home the other day. And I just happened to sit there with letting my car warm up. And I'm looking at people walking out. And I'm like, 
some were young, some had all this hope and joy in their eyes, and some were just like older and just dragging. And I'm like, this is life. Like, I don't want to come out of any type of establishment that I call I'm working at, and I'm just coming out just dragging or just so excited to get the F out of there. That's not the life I want. I don't. So I'm praying for something better. I'm working on something better. Faith without works is dead, so you got to work for it. You have all the faith you want, but come on now, work with it. All right, y'all. So I just wanted to give y'all an update with the car situation and... That's it. I'm about to go home. Um, I guess Teddy Graham is going to make breakfast. Um, I might pick this back up. I might not. I'm working on some crochet stuff. So I'm trying to implement that in my TikTok. I'm also doing TikTok shorts. <coughs> I'm also uploading my TikToks to YouTube as shorts to maximize, to maximize on that. I know a lot of you guys don't have TikTok. Maybe you don't want to get involved. TikTok is just a fun place for me. So, some of the things that I do in there, I definitely want to share with you guys. So, ah, uh -huh. Wait. Hey, y'all, what's up? It's your girl, your cousin, your niece, your auntie, your sister, your BFF, and your mama, LWL. So, today is Sunday. It is what? I don't know. November 28th, I think. Just look below. Um, I think it's the 28th. I'm getting ready to head into church. Um, Thanksgiving was good, guys. I don't think... No, I didn't vlog much at all. It was very small and intimate. Um, so, I made some food. Teddy Graham's made some food that I took to my parents' house. Um, and, you know, all in all, it was a great weekend. I got one more day off. So, I am off tomorrow. And... And it's back to the norm for now. Uh, yesterday, Teddy Grounds and I went to H Mart, which is a Asian market. I wanted to vlog, but it was just so like uh, I just didn't. It was a last minute thing, and I was really trying to get to to the land of the lay of the land, should I say? So um, he was excited about it. So I'm sure we'll be back. Um, he is definitely um his palate is so much different than mine and he tries so many different things and he he cooks so many different things you know so anyway um so yeah and if you guys again are into cooking or recipes or just like to watch people cook i don't know um teddy Grahams is is a beast in the kitchen so um he does have a youtube channel we are still in the process of getting so many videos out same with this channel but um you know you can follow us on tiktok i'm gonna put both links below uh, my tiktok i'm gonna start incorporating some uh crochet so that'll be you know interesting I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing those little videos and also from tiktok on my youtube channel so that's where i'm at right now and yeah i'm getting ready to go to church to get ready to do the live stream go by my parents i will definitely make sure to vlog there because i've been over there so many times i have not vlogged um, and, uh, then I'm gonna head back here, back home, and, uh, me and Teddy Graham to have some editing and recording and stuff like that to do, so, alright, I'll holler at y'all later, smooches. Hey y'all, what's up, it is your girl, your cousin, your niece, your sister, your auntie, your BFF, and your mama, LWL, so today is Wednesday, I believe should be Wednesday. It's December the 1st, right? Today the 1st. I don't know. It's been such a crazy day already. I want to say it's the 1st. Yeah. So it's Wednesday, December 1st. I'm headed out. I did not work today. So y'all, your girl has been feeling a certain type of way for a while. I haven't vlogged a lot. I've just been really fatigued. Just uh, something in my eye. Just dealing with a lot of stuff. And back to work, blessed, happy, but stressed with all the new things that's going on there. And I'm like, eh, I don't, and I'm not stressed, like, I'm stressed to the point where, oh, this job is, is stressing me. I'm stressed because, like, how do I explain it? Have you ever worked somewhere, you have a position, you get in that position, you're trained for that position, and all of a sudden you're still in the very same position, but you're getting all these other things piled on top of you? 
like now you gotta learn this now you gotta learn that I don't know so it's just a lot trying to grasp and keep everything together and I definitely don't feel like I'm compensated or we're not compensated enough true indeed um, I made more money doing basically 80% less prior to this job um, so um, you know that's a stressor a stressor finances are, are a stressor because you know people are still trying to build back up after and I'm gonna say after the pandemic because we're still in it it's like never ending and I'm nervous as to what if this happens again and we go through full shutdown mode so here I am again dealing with unemployment that's gonna take forever now, you know I just I don't know and I, I don't get why we print and make our own money we get into situations like this and people are losing houses losing cars but anyway I digress with that I'm just like tired um, I back to how I have been feeling um, you know I always complain about sinuses or I talk about my sinuses so I have headaches almost every day and I take things for that I used to get migraines but it's been a while but because I take things you know when you take stuff it kind of just puts a band-aid on your illness and you can take something and then you're you're preventing what's really going on in your body to be shown because you're masking it so so Saturday night I had this crazy pain in my lower back and I just attributed that to the bed because I definitely need a new mattress it is like way overdue but again finances are it's not allowing that at this moment so Sunday it moved around to the front and it's like something is or someone is gripping my lower abdomen and pulling it down like it's weighted down it feels so I had so much discomfort I couldn't sleep I probably slept for an hour I got up went to work and I'm like you know what Teddy Graham's asking me do I want to go to urgent care that night and I'm like no so let me just see what it is I said if anything else if anything I'll go to urgent care after work on my on Tuesday because I'm like holidays is over I had off a few days I don't want to take off I don't really have much time at this point so I'll go after work to urgent care and I looked up um, my symptoms when I first got to work which I shouldn't have done but I was like okay it might be a UTI I've never had one um, so that's what I'm, where I had all those symptoms, so that's what I was thinking. So I go in, they had me, um, you know, do a urine test, child, a drop. Because I had went to the bathroom before I left work because I drank so much water. But that day, I couldn't drink a lot because I was in so much pain, like, just to even walk. And I didn't want to have to go back and forth to the bathroom. So I was like, hmm. I only drank, like, one bottle of water as opposed to the six that I would have already drank at work. So, let me be right back. Alright guys, so I don't know, I had a, a call come through. So as I was saying, on um, Sunday, Monday night, I didn't work Monday, I had off the vacation day. So, that evening, sleeping was un... I couldn't sleep. The pain was unbearable. Um, but again, I didn't want to go anywhere. I said, I'm going to go after work on Tuesday, which is what I did. I went to urgent care when I left the when I left the office yesterday. Um, at work they noticed, I mean I couldn't barely walk because of the pain. So it's an urgent care. They had me do the little test. I could barely cover the bottom of the container. I pissed all over the floor to tell you the truth. I'm just like what? So then I'm in there trying to clean that up because I'm not gonna just you know leave it. So yeah I was in pain but I did that. And um they, you know, whatever you do, they take your blood pressure. So they took my blood pressure, checked my urine, and the lady asked me, have I ever had any issues with my blood pressure? I'm like, years ago, you know, I had lost my grant to my one job, lost my insurance. Unemployment, the, it's, you, you're just basically living. I didn't, couldn't afford insurance. I didn't. It was the honest, God honest truth. So we let our, our health sacrifice sometimes our health because of money. This is why I need to live in Canada. Um, healthcare should be free. Period. Um, so, I didn't have that. She tells me what my blood pressure was and I'm like, literally, the walking dead. I was 
was so astonished by the numbers. They were both extremely high. Um, the doctor came in and said that, you know, we can't treat you here because we call this hypertensive, hypertensive urgency where you need to go to the ER. So, I try to keep it together because my mom, of course, my role dog is with me. I'm like, I'm not going to say anything to her. I'm, I was afraid. And I'm just like, you know what, Lisa? I, I go through so many things and you guys know that I've been depressed before. Oh, God, I said I'm not going to do this, but... It comes back sometimes when I get into a state where I kind of feel like I do for everybody else and I don't do for me. You, and I let myself go. So that's that's where I was. And I was like, I don't even give a shit. Like, if this is it, this is it. You know, I think about certain things that I don't have in life. And I'm just like, well, who the hell gonna... If it wasn't for my parents, and I'm, I'm so sorry for anybody else. I know I'm loved. I know this. I know I'm surrounded by love. But if it wasn't for them, sometimes I would just be like, I don't even care if I'm here. I'm like that sometimes. So, <sighs> I had a moment. But I got out of it. I walked out and I told my mother. Um, they also told me that they didn't see any UTI. But they saw protein in my urine. Which could be a problem with your kidneys. Your organs will start to malfunction if your blood pressure gets to a certain point and it's uncontrollable. So I'm starting to worry about that. And they're like, you know, you don't want to go on dialysis. You're so young. Okay. Take a breather, Lisa. So I walk out of there and I'm just like, I felt defeated. Like I didn't even want to go to the emergency room. I'm like, I don't want to do that all day. But I'm like, this was enough for me to be like, girl, get it taken care of. So... We go to the emergency room, got there about maybe 7 o'clock. We left there about 30 in the morning. Um, they ran all these tests, EKGs, did my blood work. I did another urine analysis. Um, the urine did still show protein, um, like my kid being spitting out protein. Um, they did see little infection, so they said that I have an inflamed um, or inflammation of my bladder, which is why I'm in so much pain. So they put me on antibiotics. I haven't taken any yet because it was 1.30 in the morning when I left. So I'm going now to pick up my medicine. Long story short, where that goes. Um, and then they put me on blood pressure medication. They, they tried tried it last night to see if it would start to go down in a day. Um, my milligram is kind of high, so I have to be monitored to make sure it doesn't make it go down too low. Uh, you know, avoid stress. How do you do that in today's society? But I'm trying. Um, it's, and I say all this, I wasn't going to share with you guys, but, you know, things are like silent killers. And I wanted to say no matter what, you have to put yourself first. You have to. I have to be unapologetically selfish at this point in my life because that is what matters. If you're not adding to my life, if you're not being an asset, you are a liability and I have to cut you off. Um, there's so many things that I want to accomplish. Um, I hate feeling sometimes like I don't belong because I know it's just the enemy speaking all this negativity to me. Because I know I do. I know I have so much to offer this world. You know. So, it is not over for me. But, um, I'm just taking it one day at a time. I'm picking up Mary Kay because my pharmacy is that they send it to is out here where I work at, where they live at, like where everything I do. It just made more sense and my doctors um, when I switch over to my primary is going to be out here because I don't want to have to try to shoot all the way back to home to go to a doctor when I get my appointments. Plus I know this doctor that I'm getting back into, I've had her before. Um, I used to go to an all African American clinic. Well, they're not a clinic. They were, you know, board certified doctors. Um, but then it was so there. They have so many people. I don't want to feel like I'm shuffled in and just rushed in. I feel like also sometimes the only people who really will care about you are your people. But, um, you know, this doctor I had before, she's awesome. The way that she treats and interacts with my mother, she doesn't have assistance calls. She calls. You know what I'm saying? That's what I, I'm talking about. So I'm looking forward to going back to her and just starting this journey to get myself together. Um, blood 
before I came back uh, that my kidneys were fine. Um, she was like, no, your kidneys are great, so that's a plus. You don't have to worry about that, but we want to get this blood pressure under control because you are a step away from a stroke. And, you know, they can be life-altering, so... So, no more sunflower seeds, whether they are low-sodium or not. I know that is, you know, something that definitely has spiked my pressure. Um, my glucose, my blood sugar is fine. No issues there. <sighs> another day, another dollar. Um, so, yeah, I'm probably going to go grab something to eat. I did eat all, and that's another thing yesterday. I didn't eat all day. When I got in last night, you know, um... Teddy Lamb's offered to make me something, but I'm like, I just really, I'm exhausted. He didn't sleep the night before either. I'm like, let's just try to get some rest. Um, but it's like, sometimes life is so hard, so difficult, so stressful. You want to just have a break from the, from the norm. I now want my norm to be something where... I don't need a break from it. And that is my goal. So I say all of this to say, guys, get yourself checked out. My next um, my next appointment will be a mammogram. I've never had one. I am definitely of age now to get one. And I literally should have been, been going prior to this because my mom has had breast cancer. So there's a history. So, all right, guys. I will talk to you a little bit later. Okay. There's Mary Kay. I'm gonna stress over something else. I don't know who this is today. You saying. bought my the envelope. <gasps> it's okay. I'm coming back. Oh man. All right, y'all. And that was in my head, and I'm like, okay. I'm gonna go see Jay. Just the justice there. Say hey, Papa. Oh. Maybe not. Oh, he barking. Oh God. Howling at the sun. And even the moon. You want to come with us? No. We we just riding to the pharmacy. Don't you know you asked me? I thought you were gonna come pick me up. Be quiet, huh? No, to get medicine, Daddy. That's what you do at the pharmacy. Oh, okay. All right, we'll be back then. All right. He's getting ready to come. Get some off on. You know you about to go to the pharmacy and get something to eat. What am I eating from the pharmacy? <sighs> Maybe he eat from the pharmacy. Alright, y'all. He called me to ask me. I was just calling to see what's going on. Wait, I thought you were going to pick me up. I said, Li no, he said, I thought Lisa was coming. I said, she is, Charlie. Well, because I, I was going to ride with you. I was going to ride, go too. Because he thinking about last night. Yep. And he didn't. We had and to leave CJ home. What did I tell you when I got here last night? What? Before I could get upstairs. Why you coming from the hospital? Why I could why I could have went with you to the hospital. I don't know. I said, Charlie, I didn't go. I went with Lisa because she was having some. We talked to CJ multiple times last night while we were there because it was so late, and I'm like, go you know, to bed. But you don't. It didn't register to him at no, first. I told him. I said we called you. Lisa called you two or three times. And I called you twice, and you. But I said, well, okay. Cause it be looking all sad like we done left them out. Yeah. And, yeah. I said you could have. I was out already. I said when it would have been a little place. bit more. And I'm not saying this to be mean, but it still would have been a little bit more even stressful with him because absolutely he wouldn't have really understood or he wouldn't. You can't really tell him anything. So going to get checked out, it's just going to be hard to even. Then you got to monitor him because he's going to be wanting. Uh, to, Let me just walk. I'm gonna walk. Yeah. No, yeah. this is not the place to walk. You gotta make sure you keep his mask on. So no, um, we didn't. Oh, we yeah. just planned on going to urgent care and coming right back or whatever. Yeah. Didn't plan on it being an all night thing. But anyway, mm -hmm. all right, we we out of here. I gotta get. I didn't get anything to eat yet. Yeah, <sighs> so, don't lie, huh? Yeah. An adult life. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. Whatever's going on, that's what it is. What you doing? I'm doing life. It ain't even in prison. 
Shut up. <laughs> but, you know, do what you gotta do. Lord help me. <sighs> what, what the? That butter. Oh, that's what I was saying, dude. It's gonna be roll, roll if you make it. Oh. Is this a for real? It's like bites of uh, a a rattlesnake? snake? Yeah. Like a it's snake. Like, it's like you have your, uh, that's nasty. Bites of uh, catfish. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's what I've never been here. You hear that? No, I don't eat no rattlesnake. I know that's right. I don't eat nobody's snake. Wait, what does this just say?